have returned. Yes, that was my... Uh, when I left the bathroom, my cat went... Meow. Like, hey, when did you come out of there? You scared me. Smash later? We'll see what it's like. Like, we'll see how this fishing game goes. Maybe we'll smash. I'm not willing to say yes. I'm not willing to say no. You know, we can always smash on Tuesday as well. It's all good. But, you know, we, we could smash more, maybe. We'll see. You never know. This is a Japanese fishing game. It is indeed. Um... Finding information in English on this game has been a little bit of a challenge. I really don't know what to expect. It has no online multiplayer. After rigorous, you know, 20 hours down in the university library, I, I did figure out that it has no online multiplayer, which is why I'm relegating it to this. Apparently, I got to use my... Sorry, I accidentally hit the power button. Apparently, I got to use the Joy-Cons for this. I'm ready. It is... <laughs> May I lower the volume a little? There we go. Now I can hear myself think. I feel good. Changed settings. Is it anime fishing? Dude, I don't know. If it's like fishing, but also has RPG elements like Mario Golf in it, I will probably never play another game as long as I live. This is all I need. We'll see. Welcome to Fishing Star World Tour. Hi, I'm Nami, your navigator. The goal of this tour is to catch all the fish in the world. Nami, that's an incredibly dangerous goal. Shouldn't we try to stay in harmony with our environment? At least, li you know, leave two of them so they can repopulate their species? <laughs> that seems like a really bad idea. Before going out to the tour, I would like to check your fishing skills. Let's try fishing with this tackle. All right. You're asking about what is a tackle? It's about fishing equipment you use to catch a fish. Choose your play style. All right. We can use Joy-Con dual controller grip or... Joy okay, well, you know what? If playing by using the Joy-Con dual controller grip is recommended, that's good enough for me. Now choose how to hold the Joy-Con. Um... I'm actually a lefty, so I would like to reel with my right hand. Yeah, that's correct. When using, attach the strap by following the steps. Hold it securely. Don't let it go. All right, let's synchronize. Hold the Joy-Con straight vertical and press L. Done. You can sync the position of rod anytime you want by doing this. All right, let's start fishing. Let me, let me move my microphone just a little so I'm not hitting myself. First, move the target marker to the place of that fish. Um, yeah, 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 there we go. If you are ready, shake the rod and make a cast. God, I'm good. Move the lure by reeling the reel bit by bit. If you move the lure, fishes will follow it. Oh! Look! A fish made a bite! Use your rod work by raising the rod and hook with the needle. Let's go, boys. Hooking went successfully. Now it's time to fish it up! Start by reeling to draw the fish to you. You're asking how much you need to draw the fish? Yeah, you gotta get it in that zone. You see? Draw it to the blue circle to catch it. When the tension bar is full, the line may get cut. To avoid it, stop reeling and have the rod's tip as same as the fish. I understand. When the tension bar is empty, the fish has a chance of getting away. To avoid that, keep line tension by reeling for a while. Understood. 
What the heck? The fish is raging! <laughs> Tension bar is raising steadily and oh! Rod Ghost came out! This was unexpected. Rod Ghost. It's a shadow of a rod shape shown lightly. Sink the rod with the rod ghost to have the fish settle down. <laughs> there we go. The fish settled down, so the tension bar went down too. Now it's your reeling time. Oh, you're dumb, buddy. I've been in... Oh, what is this? It's the chance circle! It's so complicated. This appears when the tension is accumul when the tension accumulated by reeling is released suddenly. Chance time if the fish is at the center of the circle. Closer you get to the center, the higher the ch the higher chance of having the fish coming near. Raise rod. I don't understand. Great, the fish came closer to you now. Let's keep reeling till the end. <laughs> fish up, raise rod. Oh, you're done, buddy. Get! Hell yes, brother. Congratulations, you're now ready to take part in the world tour. It's just that easy, Tomo. Keep the tackles and take the airship to start now. You know, as one does. Taking the airship to the Fishing World Tour. Ah, this is inside the airship. Select World Tour to enter the new fishing area. Gentle Utopian Basin. That sounds nice. I can't decide which lures to use. Check the congeniality. <laughs> the better the congeniality, faster the fish will bite. You know, you just gotta check the congeniality of the lures. It's very simple. You wanna go fishing with the chosen tackle? I ain't got much of a choice here, buddy. I don't know how to... Lure? In Canada, we say lure. Alright? I hope he bites my lure. I, that's a good idea. Before you start, let's synchronize the rod in the Joy-Con's position. Okay, it's, it's straight up. You don't have to worry about that. Um, you know what? Let's grab, like, this honker right here. I've got you in my sights. And then, just do a little rod work. Just a little gentle, light relay. Oh, let's go. I'm probably the greatest fisherman of all time. The tutorial held me back. <laughs> it literally took me about three seconds to add this honker to the fish book. Mission complete. God, I'm good. You can now go to the fishing area. The new fishing area at Sakura River. Of course I want to go. Gentle Utopian Basin, I've already outgrown you. I'm going to move my... Uh, chat over so I can see it better while I'm doing high octane physicality serious gameplay Ooh, it's beautiful but also hurts my eyes wow this is El Dorado it's a really beautiful place there are big freshwater fish living in this river. Catch white spotted char. All right. Sink that bad boy. Um, you think that's a white spotted char right there? You don't stand a chance, my man. Look at him. I can say, yo, that's how you do it. Dangerous behavior of a fish. Watch out when the fish starts to move rapidly or move to the far end. Stop reeling. Semicolon. That's audacious. Have the rod's head towards it. Alright, I have no idea what that means. Whoa! Yo, he's fighting me. 
let's let's let a little tension off. Let let him swim himself out a little bit. I've read the old man in the sea. It's the rod ghost. Okay, you gotta let him. You gotta you gotta give him. Oh, he broke the line. Yo, that hurts. Well, at least they gave me another lure right away. Can you cast like this? No, you literally just have to shake the rod. All right, it's not how I would ideally like to do it. You ever have those fishing rod peripherals as a kid? Where you like hold down a button and then cast it out just in the air and then there's a little LCD screen on it where you, you, you see what's going on with the fish indicator? You weren't cool unless you had one of those when I was like 11 years old. Let's go, brother. I haven't thought about those in like two decades. This is bringing me right back. Okay, you know what? Let off, let off a little bit. Let uh, let off some steam, Bennett. Just keep a little tension. Oh, he's done. That's a get. Easiest get in my life. Oh, it's just a freaking koi. That's not what I'm supposed to catch. I'm trying to catch a, a white Arctic char. I'm just a koi and life is a nightmare. That's true. She did say you have to catch every fish in the world. So I guess, you know, it doesn't really matter what fish it is as long as we as long as we get it. Yo, Brack the man. My wife was telling me that you're a, a, a freaking Tetris expert. With multiple battle royale victories to your name. Yo, this river's dead, dude. It sucks. Look at this. Fish Mountain. They might just be rocks. I'm not sure yet. Oh, okay. Yo, no, it's extreme. I'm telling you, the Joy-Con is not properly recognizing... Where my Joy-Con is, and it's making it a little trickier. Just make sure you're, you just reel it slowly. Put the rod head in the fish's direction when it ran the intersection. Gotcha. I've captured you in this. Stop reeling, stop reeling. Yo, the gyroscopes are not working right. Sakurai. Uh, you gotta get it close to the circle. Good. Welcome. You're mine. Get. White spotted char. Well, it's definitely more complicated. Oh, the unicorn beetle rod. It's way more complicated than uh, Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Absolutely no doubt about that. Yeah, the old game didn't even have chance circles. Mm, Mooncake River. Silver carp and big head carp. There are fishes called big four farmed fish here. You want to catch it, don't you? <laughs> hmm. Oh, depending on the rod, the distance you can cast will change. Well, I don't want to go with this stinky old rod then. Let me get that unicorn beetle. What's the downside? Oh, it's way better in, in every single regard. The congeniality even is the same. All right, it's got one of the big four farmed fish. It's got to be right here. I saw the jumper. Yo, instant. They can't resist the unicorn beetle, dude. Dude, this rod's got some <laughs> flexion strength. Look at that bend at the tip. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Just take it. Just take a little bit. Take a little line. Swim yourself out. 
just like Hemingway would have wanted. Big head carp. I just caught a fish, Ruka. I caught a fish that's over a meter long. It's like my fourth fish ever. It weighs like 65 pounds. <laughs> the thing is huge, dude. Thank God I got the upgraded rod. This is the largest fish I've ever seen. Go for it, boys. Easiest catch of my life. It's like, dude. Who needs to fish with dynamite? You want things to be easy? You just get the unicorn beetle rod out there. My son, you can't be on my lap because I'll, I'll hit you with the Joy-Con because of my intense real action. I'm sorry. Yo, my son. Put, get him in the circle. Get him. I understand the chance circle a little bit. You're trying to. You're using your rod to kind of try to keep him in the circle. What? What did I do? Sorry, I have a cat on my lap as well. Oh, that's it. You got him. You got him. He doesn't want to live anymore. My son. I already completed my mission. You yank the rod up in the chance circle. I gotcha, I gotcha. River God Rod! Dude, this game is not messing around. In Ultimate Fishing Simulator, you had to catch like a hundred fish. Then you'd be like, hey, if you want, you could buy a license to go ice fishing. This one's like, you caught two fish? You're a god of the river. Get the hell out of here. Why are you wasting your time down in this river? You should be fishing in the Arctic Ocean. Small round pond. It's a little underwhelming. Um, catch the Kohaku Nishikigoi? <laughs> Is that like a legendary monster hunter? Kohaku Nishikigoi. All right. I'll synchronize the rod. I'm not afraid of that. Oh, dude, what? Are, no, you know what? We'll take a look, but you know, at the end of the day, carbon rod. I mean, the river god rod. It's almost a straight upgrade in every single category. So, like, I know we're in a pond, but like, I'm tossing it anyway. This game does not mess around. Please put it back. I just feel... I'm literally like in somebody's backyard. Just taking their goldfish out. I don't feel good about this. Is this a... It's another one. Goldfish! Two star. Amazing. Yo, give me one of the... I see the big boys down here. Give me one of those. I don't want to catch goldfish. That doesn't even make sense to me. This is a big boy. You can see him. He's got it. Okay, let's remember the chance circle. This might be a, a freaking sockeye salmon for all I know. Look at the real speed. All the training's paying off. All the forearm curls in the gym. Oh, there you go. It's the legendary Kohaku Nishikigoi, Ruka. We're gonna eat for weeks. Obtained. Hot lips. Fantastic. I'm. That's Mount Fuji. We're gonna go fishing in the volcano basin at the top of Mount Fuji now. This is out of control. What's next? We're going to go to Long John Silver's. Try to catch a two-piece. With the hush puppies. Arrowroot Starch Lake. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Namitaro. 
You finally reach worlds closest to the Sun Lake. There's a legendary huge fish which no one has catched before. Let's see if you can catch it. I wonder where it is. Do you think it's the one with the glowing red eyes? Oh, the congeniality is totally different. Alright, brother. Oh, he's going in the other direction. Oh, he, he wants it. Look at him. He wants it. <laughs> After you pull the rod, if the fish jumps from the water like shown in the picture, it's your reeling chance time. Oh, well, that's, that's it, huh? Try it, man. Ham Taro's not giving me any slack. He's a strong boy. Okay, you gotta give him some tension on that one. Oh, we're pulling him in. No, oh, Ghost Rod! Don't you break my line. Give me a chance, Circle, you cowards. Pretty good. Oh, even better. Great. We're working him down. Just like Salvador. But he's getting tired, you can tell. That's alright, you know, it's an 82 kilogram fish. Pop that right in his freaking eye socket. That fish weighs about the same as I do. I would like to think that I would fight as hard as this fish is fighting. What is a ghost rod? Let's go, boys. Give me that chance, Circle. I've been practicing. Here we go. I'll live with that. Could be worse. No, no. Just hold him. Hold him. Ghost Rod. Free tension. You give me a chance, Circle, this guy's coming in. I can feel it already. My man's winded. Look at that. He's in. He should just jump right into our freaking semi-circle. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. And then you that's when you get him. That's when you grab him. As I, I mean, he's made of solid gold. Look at him. 81 kilograms of gold. The Paradisa. Merry Coral Reef Water. You can now go down to the new fish. Dude, why wait here? It was almost three meters long. <laughs> it's like... It's like a ten foot long fish. This is a genuine honker. There's no doubt about that. Uh, dude, that's a song. I'm just trying to remember what... It's like a theme song to a 90s sitcom that was like Friends, but... Not Friends. Girl, I want to be with you in the daytime. It's not tilted. Well, we might as well. Let's throw the Paradisa on here. Yellow circles, love it. Let's see. 
We just fought a boss, so game design dictates we got some easy fish coming in. The marbled rockfish. All right, easy money. I don't even see any fish in here. It's like this is when it's supposed to get hard. You can no longer just cast directly at the at the fish. This one's putting up a little bit more of a fight. Or was it just further away when I snagged it? Spiny red. Gurnard. <laughs> it's a subnautica fish. Oh yeah, you gotta go over to the side. Cast it! Cast it! Cast the... Cast the freaking line, boys! Cast it! Thank you. Oh, I see... Yep, saw one skipping behind it. Oh, dude, he wants to come in. He basically swam into our net. Oh, it's because he wants to be with his, uh, his friend. We're not gonna eat them. We're building a an aquarium, okay? They're all gonna be friends. Live happily ever after. No, I don't want any more spiny red Bernards. Ermagird. And Al, what's your favorite fish to eat? Before I answer that question, I have a I have another question for you. Is sea bass still endangered? No? <laughs> then sea bass. Yo! King Honker. Let's go! What? another marbled rockfish, dude. I gotta look at my mission. I see it. Look at he's coming in. Oh, and he's gotten tagged. I don't want any more marbled rockfish, please. Well, careful what you wish for. Um, mission, please. Or menu. Catch a dusky Spine foot. Oh, look at that. He hit instantly. Help. Mate, what do you think? Like... Cast it. Cast it! Maybe it's a little closer to shore? Amazing. See, the thing is, it says check congeniality, but I have no idea. Oh, you have to discover the congeniality. So I'm thinking like... What is red? Red's bad. Yellow's okay. Is that where we're at? So yellow still seems like the best. All right. Please, I beg you. Be a speckled gunfish. It must be you, right? It's got to be this guy. Way at the back. Oh, we got one. That one looked a little bigger, but I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sakurai, please help me.
Maybe he wants to be here? Maybe he's in the littoral region? Er oh! Dude, I'm t that's it. I saw him. Right here. White whale. Welcome to the show. I think it's probably time to maybe try a new rod. You know, the beetle's been good for us. I can tell you, he's not fighting. He's swimming into the region. This is not the boss. That's another marble rockfish. At this point, I just need to let it go, like, for as long as possible. I'll, I'll give you the hot lips. Maybe they just didn't program, like, the game after this part. I see him. It's a big one. He swam right by. Look at him. He's on the left, like the rod's kind of pointing at him right now. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's not interested. Maybe we gotta go, like, buy some new stuff. Yeah, go back to the airship, get some, get some better tackle. We've, we've overfished. There's nothing left. Okay, someone said that circle on the left. Okay, I, I like where your head's at, but, you know, I actually can't get there. Can't get to that area. Um, look at that. I see him. He's swimming across the frame right now. They don't like the hot lips, my man. Put me back on the airship. It's a strategy game. We gotta use our Toy Con mini game. No, thank you. <laughs> Get a new tackle by completing the missions. I mean, I thought we'd done pretty well, but apparently that's incorrect. Well, I mean, I guess we might as well try with a different... Uh, like, they don't like the hot lips. We were using the Paradisa. Dude, there's no way it's small minnow. Like, look at the congeniality. It hates it. The song bangs, though. No, we only got, we've only got the rusty reel. Red is good. There's no way red triangle beats orange circle. I don't believe it. I don't know, sure, give me, I don't know, river god rod? It's got better tackle power, whatever the hell that means. You can go back and complete missions in the first area. I gotta be honest with you, the game was it was hitting me with the the dopamine real quickly. And now I'm like I'm starting to lose those happy chemicals. I should not have casted this close. That's my bad. Have I given you time to repopulate? Should not have casted that close. I 
I'm gonna give it three fish. Yo, this one's fighting. It's legit. He's done it. <laughs> Obtain the twister. Ocean of Kangaroo statue. All right, we're back, boys. I think we, the the game just only populated two types of fish there. We had to reload it. Some games require you to do your own uh, your own legwork, your own QA. Look, it's the famous kangaroo statue. A rumor is around that the big sea bream is around here. You want to catch it, don't you? I don't know if we should be catching stingrays. Oh, but I don't know. I never had a choice. You know what? That, that last area was a little bit too easy. It just took us forever to get the right fish. The reeling was too easy. I'm ready for a real fight. Here we go. Chance circle. Oh, it's the simplest chance circle on planet Earth. You're going to have to do better than that. I've played a number of fishing video games in my day. Okay, what do you think the odds are that the Hikari would win, Quintet would play this? Another perfect. What? Give him, give him a little. Give him a little. Let him carry the line. Then when you get down to that, uh, you can't feel it, but there's a little HD rumble. That's when we grab him. That's a stingray. This one's for Steve Irwin. I've actually, I think I've figured out a new strategy. I wonder if the game developers thought of it. I am going to cast closer so that I have to reel less far. Dude, my rod is positively illuminated. It's hard to look at. Oh, you're right. I forgot to equip my reel. That's a perfect. What do you mean? It was in the circle. Spotted knife jaw. Alright, change this bad boy up. Slightly better tackle strength, slightly worse tackle power. Wow. That's a huge change. Mmm. They, they saw through my strategy. Cast? Thank you. The aesthetics are better. I will say I appreciate that even though I chose uh, right-handed reeling, they only stored that preference for the first reel, and all of my future reels are uh, inverted, apparently. Here we go. It's a big one. Oh, it's the easiest. It's get! <laughs> I guess if you get it way in the circle, then uh, you just get the fish instantly. That's one way to do it. Oh, look at that. He's eager. Here, reel it in fast, then you got less work to do. Yeah, that's... You're supposed to... You gotta hook him first. You can't just uh, keep reeling. That was dumb. There you go. You gotta grab the hit first. Then you, you keep building some tension. Your rod starts to get very, very hot. Do not touch it. Yo, 
It's like a, a an iron rod put in the furnace. That's a get. Okay, it's not a get. That's it's just a perfect. This one's fighting me, which means it better be the mission completion. I'm about to get another chance circle. And when I get that chance circle, you are done, my man. Easy. <sighs> you. Yeah, I don't get ghost rods anymore. Only chance circles. But you know what? I think I'm better at the chance circle than the ghost rod. Also, the chance circle is the only way that I actually get to make any progress reeling something in at this point. Oh, ghost rod! Easy. That was, yeah, could have been better. It's all right, just keep him, keep him on the line. Throw the rod into the furnace. It's getting hot. NL, I am very drink and just joined the stream. How many honkers so far? More, more honkers than you could ever believe, to be honest. A truly staggering amount of honkers. I mean, we've probably caught like a ton of fish so far. Blue grab. Take me. Take me to the barrier reef. You want to bleach some coral while we're out there completely defeating, or depleting the fish stocks? Might as well. <laughs> Rainbow Barrier Reef. Catch an octopus? So many cute little colorful fishes around the coral reef. Oh, famous tropical fish is there too. Let's give it a try. Okay, obviously we're putting this bad boy on. The congeniality was like substantially higher. I don't think this is how you catch an octopus. What the heck, dude? They hate it. Change game name. Excuse me, sir. The game name is correct. At least it's correct in the dashboard. I can't speak for the what what ends up getting pushed out the Mozilla Firefox. The tomato clownfish. We caught Nemo. It says code names for me. No, 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 no. Here we go. That's a perfect. If I've ever seen a perfect, that's a perfect. Yo, is this the song that Kenny G played in uh, Kanye West Living Room? Grass puffer. <laughs> I have absolutely no comment. 
for the name of this fish. Except to say, hell yeah, brother, is legal now. He can do whatever he wants in the privacy of his own home and three meters from any place of business or air intake valve. Yo, thank you, I'm a shill. Much appreciated. Does less Isaac mean more solo streams? Yes and no. It mostly means more variety on YouTube. But also, you know, you can't deny that, you know, if anyone's out of the loop, I'm gonna start doing one Isaac a day instead of two. It is an extra, like, at least four to five hours a week in my week that gets opened up. But my intention is not to dedicate that time to streaming. Streaming, you know, we've already been doing quite a lot of it. Especially compared to how much I used to do like a year or two ago. Um, well, maybe two years ago. Streaming is like, you know, I got extra time. And if I'm not having to backlog substantially, um, then, you know, I, I have extra availability in my schedule to stream as well. But my intention is to spend the bulk of that time creating and cultivating greater variety for, uh, for YouTube. That's a get. Porcupine fish. Don't eat this. It's a porker. <laughs> yo, yo, pull it, pull it. It's because I, uh, Recalibrated the the rod. Wasn't having a good time. All right, another Nemo. My intention right now, I guess people are asking about strategy games, is not to like immediately fill up that space with another XCOM 2 series or something like that. I would much. What I'm planning to experiment with is, hey, you know, we got more space for Let's Look at, and that's awesome. And then maybe, you know, stuff that comes out, like for example, this probably won't be one of them, but Tetris 99. I could be like, you know what, that looks interesting for a couple of videos. So instead of having, you know, 14 Isaacs a week, maybe you'll get 7 Isaac, 3 Apex, 2 Tetris 99, or something like that. And then a week later, you'll get 7 Isaacs, and then, uh, you know... A couple of videos of a new game that came out and then you know something that me and my friends want to play a little multiplayer of you know what I mean Just just more variety in general cuz here's the thing Kate watches this uh, Korean streamer. And I think he's got a really good idea for his content You know he doesn't play every game through to completion, but he plays a huge variety of stuff I've kind of mind flooded myself into believing that if you start playing a game on YouTube you have to finish it um, and I, I don't necessarily think that that matters at all, actually. Please, no. I don't, I don't think it's, you know, from a Let's Play standpoint. I understand what you're saying. If it's like, Let's Play Episode 1. But if you, uh... If you're playing stuff basically for the variety of it. Like, here's the, the, like, I understand the logic that you're putting out there right now is like, you know, WTF, you have to finish it. Okay, the danger of that logic is literally all you're going to get are Isaac episodes in Slay the Spire. I'm never going to start a new series, uh, or I'm going to start like one new series a year. Because I feel like, I wouldn't necessarily call it pressure, but I'm like, you know... Well, I can't play uh, Tetris 99 unless I do an endless series on it or something like that. I just think more variety is worth it in this case. Basically, here's the thing. I don't think people watch Isaac for me anymore. I think people watch Isaac... Or, sorry, let me rephrase. I don't think people watch Isaac for the game choice anymore. And moreover, I really don't think that people watch any of my content for the game choice anymore. The game, I really think, has become secondary. And what people would like to see more than anything else is just different content 
instead of me talking over the same three or four games over and over. Let me recalibrate here. I think there's a difference between Isaac content and like Cyberpunk 2077 content. But here's the thing, again, it, it really, I'm, I'm trying not to create a situation where y'all throw out the baby out with the bathwater. I would love to be able to produce some Cyberpunk 2077, 2077 content, but I'm probably not interested in playing through the whole game in like a 2013 inspired YouTube Let's Play. So to, if you're gonna get content like that, you know, there might be like three or four episodes of like me checking it out, and then you never see it again. And I think, I think it's honestly better. But at least finish the story. I feel like, to some extent, I'm talking like I'm just reiterating the same point over and over. But if if it, if the choice is at least finish the story or do none of it, I'm probably gonna do none of it. We finally have done it. I th that must be the end of the, uh... That's not the end of the mission. Cast. If I'm not gonna get closure on story-based games, I'm not gonna watch. Why are you watching this right now, then? I guess is what I'm saying. It would be like exactly the same style of content. I mean, I guess you're right, this isn't a story-driven game. But I kind of see it like, you know... I don't know, don't take this the wrong way, because I don't think you mean it to be insulting. But the message that sends to me is like, I watch you play the game so I don't have to buy it myself. And that sucks. <laughs> I, For my own mental well-being, I'll continue to believe that you are watching because you find the content entertaining. And I think that uh, playing a greater variety will lead to that. Come on. I mean, I'm not trying to, like, give you an ultimatum. It's literally, I'm giving you, like, the real world conditions. It's been, like, six months since there's been real new content on... Uh, on YouTube and the reason for that is I like the idea that I can play new things on Twitch uh, without feeling the pressure to finish absolutely every single game that I I play once in my entire life so you can either have it the way that it is right now where it's just Isaac and Slay the Spire and maybe in three years there will be a Cyberpunk 2077 series where I react to the final cutscene as well as everything else in the game. Or we could try adding a little bit of new variety into the oeuvre with the expectation that... Oh, here we go. Whew. This isn't a good plan straight up. I very much just... You know, time will tell, I guess, is what it is. Literally, what I'm... What I'm saying right now, I don't know. I'm surprised that it's a controversial idea. Seven Isaac a week instead of 14 Isaac a week, and those seven videos become something else. I'm, I'm surprised there's as much resistance to that. Yeah, they wouldn't be labeled as, as like, Let's Plays. That part is good. Yeah, but just replace seven Isaac videos a day with seven videos of one other game for 90 hours. Like, do you see my concern there?
to be honest, this sounds salty. I don't mean it's salty. But I don't know why I even brought it up. Because my experience with, like, bringing up NLSS dockets in Twitch chat is that people always enjoy the show as long as we like what we're playing. And sometimes even if we don't. But if you give them the opportunity to vote on the docket, they're going to freaking tear themselves apart. They'll talk, they'll be more passionate about, like, programming changes than they will be about American politics. So, like, as soon as I go, what are your thoughts? I realize, like, oh no, what have I done? Sorry, Dad. <laughs> it's fine, you know. It's fine because I know. You gotta... Honestly, here's the thing. So, you know, Pure Stealth says, Can you make a thread on the subreddit to discuss it? No. This is what I'm gonna do. And if, you know, if people don't like... If after a month people are like, Well, I would much rather have 30 extra Isaac episodes than 20 episodes of games I've never seen before, then it is what it is, and I'll play Isaac every day until the day that I die. Um, but my expectation is that more people want variety than the other, than the alternative. What's the middle ground? I'm resistant to the idea that, that the idea I'm proposing is extreme. I feel like the idea I'm proposing is the middle ground. The other thing would be like, never play Isaac, and then have two videos a day of different things. That's true, just label them, let's look at, and everyone will love them. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I, maybe I've done myself a disservice by acting like it would be called, you know, Let's play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Excuse me? Episode 1, and then, like, after I, you know, I, I'm planning on playing Breath of the Wild on Twitch streams, by the way, but, you know, then if people would be like, where's episode 4? And I'm like, ah, it's not really like that. You know, that's my own personal problem in labeling it in the first, that's a marketing and branding issue for sure. That's how you kind of announced it? Well, I mean, it wasn't an announcement. <laughs> it was, I was like spitballing. I'm not, you know, when I make an announcement, you know, you'll, you'll hear it from my lawyer. As opposed to in an informal channel like this. Yo, yo, get, you do it! What about the Isaac DLC? Well, we'll be playing with like one Isaac a day still. You know what I mean? Why not two? You know? <laughs> Maybe it's the end of Friday streams. <laughs> maybe I, uh... Maybe I'll spend the Friday streams recording those second Isaac episodes instead. No, no, we, we, hold on, we didn't mean it like that. We finally caught the octopus. Are we not done with the mission yet? This is out of... We still... What do you mean we need a clownfish? Didn't we catch 15 Nemos? Why is it such a chore to finish a game, I guess, is my question. Well, it depends on the length of the game, is the whole scheme of things. You know, finish... It's not like... I don't know, I feel like... I, I don't like to use the word gaslighted, even though I use it all the time. But like, you know, I think an important, it's important to keep a variety up in terms of content. 
That's my two cents on the subject. And at the end of the day, it's not really like a business decision. It's more like, uh, you know, I don't, I would rather record five episodes of 10 different games than 50 episodes of the same game is basically what it comes down to. I broke the line. That's all right, I already have an octopus anyway. But if you're like liking a game, you would finish it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, uh, why I feel like I'm losing my mind right now is because there's no full playthroughs on the channel. <laughs> it's basically where I'm at. Where I'm like, what are you? You're not losing anything. There hasn't been a uh, one since Darkest Dungeon. I recorded an Isaac episode where I talk about it. We'll see what people's preference is. I feel like we're getting hung up less on the idea about uh, there being variety and more on the idea that NL's gonna consistently play the first hour of 80 hour RPGs and then abandon them because he's got no work ethic. I feel like that's what the conversation has become. This slur only checks starfish Please, give me the hot lips. This one won't catch anything. Dude, who doesn't like the hot lips? How <laughs> you make this the first game you abandon? Dude, I'm honestly starting to get there. Like, I've had a good time, especially the first 20 minutes or so. But, like, the last 15 minutes or so have been real boring. Just to be honest with you. I think the game is bugged. You know what? That'll that'll be a good way to send it off. Let's go back to the airship. And then we'll return here. And if we like immediately catch the fish within like the first few attempts here that we were looking for, I have a feeling that something's not right. Find out if there's a dressing room mode with Nami. Look, this is a family-friendly game. It's rated E for everyone. They wouldn't put something so egregious like that. This isn't dead or alive. All right. Here we go. If this is the fish, I'm probably going to lose my mind. Oh, that's not enough tension. It's like a Twitch stream. You have to this is the NLSS right here. 
You gotta maintain just enough tension so that it's engaging for both parties, the streamer and the audience. Not so much tension that it runs the risk of somebody really getting upset, but not so little tension that the audience starts discussing docket politics. Every once in a while you get a chance circle that's uh, an abstraction of when I jump in with like one of my trademark 10 out of 10 jokes and bring the house down. And then the ghost rod is when, uh, you know, we talk about thawing frozen sandwiches in your armpits. It's yet another grass puffer. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, you know, I didn't know I could zoom in. That's a new one. Wham, boom, wham, boom, boom, bam, 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 bam. All right, let's play 45 minutes of Smash. I was thinking about playing some Apex, but you've seen enough of that recently, I think. Let's play a little bit of Smash. See if we can get back to Elite. Fishing World Tour? I'm gonna have to, I hate to say it, but stick with Ultimate Fishing Simulator, please. Unfortunately, not a killer choice. <laughs> 